Hello beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Gianna Leon, and today we're reading your guys' unpopular bookish slash book opinions. Wow. I asked you guys over on Goodreads and on YouTube what your guys' unpopular book opinions are, and I was gonna read them, react to them, see if I agree with some of them, or maybe I don't agree with them. We're just gonna see, but I got lots of responses from you guys, and I think this is gonna be a very interesting video, so we're gonna get right into it. But first, I quickly just wanted to mention that these are my opinions. Obviously, I'll be reading your guys' opinions, and we don't have the same opinions that is perfectly okay okay i was not expecting you guys to have so many but the first one is i prefer hardbacks over paperbacks but i prefer paperbacks cheaper prices i am a hundred percent with you on this one except i actually prefer paperbacks more when i read them i don't know what it is but hardbacks just bother me so much they just feel awkward to hold they're too big and bulky they're just I don't know, I just really, really don't like them. <laughs> but the part that I do love about this is the price of paperbacks because you're getting the same exact book for cheaper. It's just not a hard cover. So personally, I think that hardbacks are such a waste of money. I just, I hate hardbacks, so. YA books are the best. Okay, so I actually haven't read too many YA books now that I really think about it, but the ones that I have read, I have really, really enjoyed. I think I mainly just like YA books because they don't require a lot of brain power, like at all. Like I can just read them super, super quickly, get through them really fast, and overall it's normally a pretty good read. Plus, I think YAs are personally my favorite when I'm in a reading slump because they save me. Let's just say that. So I definitely agree with this one. Fantasy is an acquired taste. I can definitely agree with this one because I personally cannot read fantasy. I personally do not like fantasy. I think I've picked up about two fantasy books in general and both of them I didn't really like that much. So I think maybe I just haven't found a fantasy book that I have enjoyed so I have more courage to pick up more fantasy books but I've yet to find one and I definitely agree with this in the way that it takes a lot to read fantasy. At least for me, like the whole world building and getting to know the characters, the scenes, all the action going on is just too much for me. I just can't comprehend it and I get lost so easily in fantasy books. It just, it's a no for me. So this person couldn't have said it better in my opinion. This person says, I love unreliable narrators and I'm sorry, but this one, I have the complete opposite opinion because I think having an unreliable narrator is the worst thing ever because not only is it annoying, but I tend to feel very confused when that happens. And when I'm confused in a book, it just doesn't really go well. Like I don't really want to like continue it because I'm just confused the whole time. And I feel like I'm not understanding the book that I'm reading and I'm not gonna be able to figure out the purpose of the book and why I was reading it in the first place. Like what did I just read? When I think of unreliable narrators, that's exactly what I think. It's just, what did I just read? Like, I have no idea, you know? I hate unreliable narrators. This person said, I hated love in other words. And this also ties to another one that says, Christina Lauren's books are incredibly toxic. So it's actually funny because I still have not read love in other words. I've had it since before summer and I didn't end up getting to it, but I did read every summer after during the summertime. And I think that's why I never ended up picking love in other words because I heard how similar they are. So I can't really comment on this one, but I know that there are a lot of mixed opinions on both the books because of how similar they are. I'll take this person's word for it, but hopefully I will get around to reading it and form my own opinion later on in the future. This person says, I love books that make me cry. And I completely agree with this. Um, my opinion is the exact same as yours because I have yet to find a book that has made me cry. I have not found one that I'm like sobbing over and actually crying to. If you guys can let me know any books that you were bawling your eyes out over, please let me know because I need to find one and I need to cry to a book. So <laughs> let me know, please. 
Another one says reading goals specifically on Goodreads are overrated and can be toxic. I feel like I'm kind of in the middle on this one for this opinion because I think the whole reading goals aren't really like overrated. I feel like it kind of like sets like a nice milestone for you to like get to at the beginning of the year, which I personally love. And I don't see that many people like really talking about their Goodreads goal too much. So I don't think it's like over talked about or overrated really, but I do think that it, it can be toxic not only for the book community and your friends that see it but for yourself as well like I know right now I have my goal set to 75 books this year and Goodreads just keeps reminding me that I'm like three books behind for the year to reach my goal so I think it can be toxic in that way where I feel like oh my gosh I'm behind I'm not gonna make my goal that kind of can be toxic especially because you don't want to force yourself to read and then get into a reading slump or just not want to pick up books because you're forcing yourself to read and reach a goal you know, so I'm kind of in the middle on that one. Ugh, this one's gonna be hard. The seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo was so overhyped. It's hard for me to comment on this one because I absolutely loved The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. It was one of the first books that I picked up when I got into reading again. So this book will always be so close to my heart and I will forever remember it. But I can see that it did get a lot of attention and it was super, super popular and talked about on all the platforms. But I mean, if you loved the book, you wouldn't really think it's overhyped because of how much you love it and you just keep seeing it over and over again. But I do understand if you didn't really like the book and you you just keep seeing it over and over again that can get kind of annoying and make people believe that it's overhyped i don't know i didn't really think it was overhyped someone said i feel like some authors are dragging out book series because they're popular but ultimately ruining the plot i'm not the biggest series reader yet i have a few series that i've recently picked up that i really want to get into but i feel like i never finish series to be honest it's probably one of like my book flaws if you want to call it that but from some of the series that i have heard of and the few that i've read already i do agree with that especially with the summer i turned pretty trilogy series i think on Honestly, that I just needed the first book and it could have been done and over with and I would have been content Even though it did leave on some sort of like a little mini cliffhanger that didn't matter to me because Overall, like I still really really enjoyed the series and I didn't really care if I had anything else and by the third book It was just so dragged out. I was like, why am I even reading this? It honestly was a waste of my time if I'm being honest But so from that series I can see what people are saying and I couldn't even imagine like a fantasy series Especially because I can't get into fantasy that you're reading a fantasy series and it's just getting dragged on and dragged on and dragged on But really you ultimately just want to know how it ends. I can definitely agree with this person's opinion and it kind of sucks not gonna lie <laughs> not a fan of any emily henry's books they're way overhyped and drag for absolutely no reason i actually it's funny because i refuse to pick up a emily henry book because i just even from the jump her synopsis is, her writing style that i've heard of and seeing the writing style in person for myself i know that i'm not gonna like her writing style and that already is such a major factor for me when i read that if i'm not gonna like her writing style i'm just not gonna like the book no no matter what the plot is, I can't get into it, if that makes sense. So I can agree with this person in the way that I refuse to even pick up an Emily Henry book. So I can see how they think that they're way overhyped because yeah. Okay, so this is a really big one that I really, really agree with, especially now in the book community, it seems to have become a bigger problem, which honestly breaks my heart. It says, making fun of what people read, saying it isn't counted as reading is not okay. And this is a really big thing because it shouldn't matter what you're picking up to read. At the end of the day, you're reading something that you enjoy and you're learning and spending your time on it because you enjoy it. If you enjoy the books you're reading, you shouldn't feel like you're being made fun of or embarrassed because you like those types of books. Actually, another one that ties into this is the whole Colleen Hoover situation where everyone who read Colleen Hoover books weren't actually reading. And personally to me, I think that is the biggest joke of all time because no matter what you're reading, you're reading a book. No matter if the person's overhyped or not a good author or whatever, you're still reading a book and you shouldn't be criticized on what you read, honestly. Because like I said, everyone is different and it shouldn't matter what book you pick up and what book you don't. So I'm just gonna leave that there. I think I think I've said enough, but that is like the biggest thing that is just not okay in the book community and I personally think it needs to be fixed. <laughs> 
Audiobooks are amazing. So I don't really know how to comment on this one because I personally have only really listened to like one audiobook, I think, that I can remember. And I don't know why, maybe my brain just can't focus enough in the audiobook, but I need to have like the physical book in order to read and comprehend it and actually kind of get really into it. I feel like with audiobooks, they're super cool because you kind of get to bring the book into life almost, but my brain just can't comprehend and focus on the audiobook if I'm not reading the physical book. So hopefully maybe I can pick up audiobooks maybe more in the future, but right now I kind of am not really into audiobooks, but I'll take this person's word for it that they're pretty amazing. I mean, I don't really know. <laughs> My foot fell asleep. Oh, wake up. Oh. Another one says, reading dark romance does not make someone crazy. Um, and I agree with this one. Honestly, like it ties into the things you read. Everyone is so different that like, if you read dark romances, it doesn't mean that you're crazy. Like everyone has their own specific taste and that is perfectly fine. So I agree with this person that just reading a type of genre isn't gonna make you crazy. <laughs> This one's funny. <laughs> I'll put it up on the screen exactly how it's written. It says, we were liars. <laughs> and honestly, I'm still super, super hesitant to pick this up because I've heard so many mixed opinions on it. I've heard a lot of people say, oh, this book was so good. And especially the second one was amazing. And then other people were saying how this is like the worst book that they've ever read in their whole entire lives. So I don't really know if I'm gonna pick it up, especially since someone commented this on an unpopular opinions post. I'm kind of nervous, so <laughs> I don't know, but I can't really comment on it because I haven't read the book yet. I don't know, I don't know. And the last one that I have is autobiographies need more attention. And I don't know, I honestly have never even heard of an autobiography. I've never read an autobiography. So I guess this person can be right in the sense that it needs more attention because I personally have no idea what those are. <laughs> I feel kind of silly not knowing what that is, but I have no idea, so I guess I'm gonna take this person's opinion into account, but I don't think a lot of people read those, to be honest, so I don't really know. I'm gonna leave that one there because I don't even know what that really is. But yeah, those are all of the unpopular opinions that I wrote down from the posts that I asked you guys for your unpopular opinions. Thank you guys so much for participating and make sure that you guys follow my socials. I have them all linked down below in the description and I'll put them up on the screen as well. So you guys can participate in future things like this and have a chance for me to answer your questions or read your opinions or even choose future books for certain videos. But yeah, and also so we can just stay connected on other platforms as well. Cause I am sometimes more active on other platforms besides YouTube sometimes. Yeah, but I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It's kind of something different and I'm just happy to get you guys involved in my videos as well. But if you guys did like this video, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff you guys know how to do. And with that, I hope you guys are having an amazing, wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.